before I was able to buy black powder or even the chemicals to make black powder, I was able to get hold of this stuff, Pyrodex, without a license. Now, it's meant to be a weight-for-weight equivalent for black powder, and it says here, extremely flammable, smokeless propellant. What a load of crap. And it is a load of crap, because whenever I used it in fireworks, it never worked It never worked particularly well. Um, or, or, or at all. I mean, trying to fire a shell up in the air with this, it just didn't work. So I've always wanted to know what is in it. I'm sure you can Google it. But what's it burn like? So I thought, while well, I've got some time on my hands, I'll grab some Pyrotex, grab some black powder, slow-mo camera, and film it. See what happens. All right, so what I'm going to start with here is, is black powder. One little grain of black powder. And I've put it on the end of um, some little tweezers. And it's an extreme macro lens. And what I've done is I've put a blowtorch down to it. So you'll, you'll notice that as, it, um, as the blowtorch gets closer, right, you can see it now bubbling away. And it bubbles around the outsides until it all of a sudden catches fire. Now, I assume this is the, the sulfur in the black powder that's bubbling, first of all, because that's got quite a low melting point. Um, yeah, now the, now the charcoal's bubbling on top. There we go, and it's ignited. Wow, look at that. I mean, there's bits of potassium nitrate flying all over the place and all that charcoal. That burns really well. And a very clean burn, so there's not much left on those tweezers. Right, let's move along to Pyrodex. Right, here's a similar sized grain of Pyrodex, and again, I've put the blowtorch to it, and that light's a lot easier. So nothing bubbled, first of all. It just ignited. There's the same sort of, of balling of the... Oh, wow, look at that. It falls off the tweezers and then and then comes back up again. Brilliant. So Pyrodex has got anti-gravity devices in it. We know that. And, and that shows by those balls going up in the air. Um, that's the that's the oxidizer. God knows what that oxidizer is. I mean, some people have said it's ammonium nitrate. I don't, don't see that it can be, but it may well be. Um, they bubble a lot more and it burns a lot slower. But there's a lot less sparks in it as well. And it doesn't burn so cleanly. Interesting. So then after that one, I tried another piece of Pyrodex. So a slightly larger piece of Pyrodex. And you can see it with the Pyrodex, it's, it's not as uniform. So it's quite jagged. So they must make it in a completely different way. This can't be um, pressurized. So with black powder, they put tons and tons of pressure on it. And you see there, it ignites immediately. And there's a lot more balling of that oxidizer that's, that's flying off. And that bit drops off completely. All right, so while I was filming those, I thought, let's see what flash powder does. So I put a tiny piece of flash powder on the tongs there. It was difficult to balance it on the tongs. And then what happens? Is it melting anything? It does look like it's balling, actually. There's, there's, there's obviously oxidizer melting there. And then... Still balling. Lots of bits of oxidizer are falling off with the aluminium powder. God, it's a waiting game, isn't it? And that, wow. That is really bright. <laughs> yeah, so let's go back to that. And you see that tiny little bit on the edge. You can see it just spark for a couple of frames. And then whoosh, the whole lot goes off. That is quick. That is seriously quick. And a hell of a lot more smoke is produced. So what does that tell me exactly? Really haven't got a clue. I mean, under slow-mo, the black powder you can obviously see it is compressed. Pyrodex isn't. Um, it must just be mixed and then put up with a binder. Um, other than that, they burn pretty similarly. But obviously the black powder produces a lot more hot expanding gases. I, at least I think it does. Because it performs a lot better in, in fireworks. 
If you like that video, hit like and subscribe and um, there'll be more like it coming soon.